Looks like one of the slave trucks. to meditate, Alice. Look, I just wanted to know, you know, how it went last night. I don't know! It's not what I thought, all right? Okay, there's no need to bite my head off. I'll see you later. Alice! I I'm sorry. I thought we were working together on this. We are. You've always thought I've known better than you, haven't you? Yeah. But then that's usually because you have. I don't. Something happened last night, and I didn't expect it. And I know I've got to talk to you about it, but I need a bit of time to think first, okay? Sure. I'm here for you when you're ready. It's no good. It's broken. Just wait. Besides, bedding's banned from here. Oi, where's all the water? See, it's broken on 17. Five times out of seven, it's landed there. We could clean up. I said, where's all the water? Today's my wash day. So where is it? Must have ran out. Then go fill it. Tell you what. You willing to bet for it? What are you talking about? Ball lands anywhere on the wheel and... Telly gets you water. Hey! Anywhere except 17. Now, you fixed it. You think I'm stupid? What? Sorry, gotta go. Tally? You want it, you get it. Wait, you little... It's like fighting a bunch of kids. They are kids. We all are. Yeah, well, I feel like Robin Hood. Hey, you know why Robin Hood robbed the rich? Because the poor had no money. <laughs> Hey, guys, you'd better come take a look at this. What is it? There's more news of the rebels. They're becoming a menace. Then do something about them. I thought you'd want to. Do you think that I have time to worry about that? It is your task to protect the sacred cause. The tools are simple. Fear, terror, chaos. If you don't want to use them, I'll find someone who does! I have some good news. I've been granted a vision, Luke, from Zoot himself. He has shown me the path that the Chosen must take to renew and strengthen themselves. We are to have a new Supreme Mother, one who is worthy to hold the name. Yes, it will be her, Tysan. But she is perfect in spirit and strength and purity of mind. Guardian, I beg you, she is a non-believer. Give her this much power and... Suit has shown me! You dare to question his word? It's hard for you now, Luke. I know. But you do not see what I see. Images form in my mind. Oh, they remain a mist for now. But I can feel it. They are building towards something immense, something clear, 
a vision for the future, Luke. That is what is coming. That is what Zoot is going to send me soon. But first, she must take her rightful position. Trust me, Luke. All will be well. Oh, don't stop, please. It's a form of Tai Chi Chuan, isn't it? Sort of. I thought I'd never see that practiced again, though I don't know much. Just that story about the Tai Chi master? Chang Sang Feng. He watched a fight between a bird and a snake and saw how the soft and yielding could overcome the hard and inflexible. So you believe that's the way? What? To defeat your enemy, absorb his energy, yield and overcome. Come here. What? I want to show you something. It's called Tui Shu. Come, push against me. That is yielding, but it's only half the way. You see? It's not enough just to absorb the energy of your opponent. You have to turn it against him so that you remain balanced, uninvolved. What if the only way is to become involved? Well, then I would say that would be a very dangerous way. And your opponent could easily overcome you. Look, Lex is right, Bray. We can't look after girls, especially not pregnant ones. Then we send them back to where they came from. But we don't have the time to. Hey! Look what I found. It's like some kind of traveling show. They're running it in my village right now. It depicts the Chosen's vision of the world. Part of their propaganda machine, I suppose. People believe it? Frightened people believe in what's easiest to believe. Well, first things first. Who are you? My name's Layla. And you, I think, are Lex and Bray and Ebony. How'd you know that? Mmm, you three play quite a part in the show. See, the evil rebels who join forces with Trudy the imposter are set out to murder the wonder child, Brady. You know what? I wouldn't mind seeing the show myself. Tully, what are you doing? Just keeping out of Ned's way. The Great Mills. I bet he bullies you, doesn't he? Yes, all the time. You need a sugar daddy. What's that? Someone to look out for you. Someone who knows the score. Like you? Let's see. You've got a young, innocent face. People fall for that, even in this lousy world. Tell you what, Tully. I'm prepared to try something here. And if you do it well, you might be able to make yourself a bit. Sure. Whatever you say, Casey. Follow me then. <laughs> Who fetches the water around here? Oh, that would be the water monitor. Hmm? Who is it this week? Oh, let's see. Um, that would be you. <laughs> Got a bad back, all right? Oh, that's the thing with slobs. Weak spine. <laughs> Look, lady, just get off my case. It's all I wanted what are you two whispering about? I don't think that's any of your business. Uh -huh. I was just wondering what you're doing hanging out with a guy like Pride when you, uh, you should be party training the Divine Child. Maybe you're a couple of spies. And maybe you should watch that mouth of yours. You're a slave, remember? I can make you disappear just like that. Hey, I ain't no slave lady. This is what I call a slave. Now fill it, poodle. <laughs> you always take advantage of those weaker than you. Well, there wouldn't be any point in being stronger if I didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. Why did he do that? Some people just don't have the courage to fight. It's not their fault. Their weakness is dangerous. 
crowd's not weak. Sure, it's a tough job being a rebel. The uncertainties, the dangers, you put your life on the line. But hey, it's worth it. Every day I wake up and say, here goes another blow for freedom. <laughs> Ebony, have you ever heard Lex use those words before? <laughs> nope, I don't think I have. Yeah, well, what would they? So, ladies, just what have you done to attract the attention of our friends? You haven't heard. They've begun rounding up all the pregnant women. They say newly born children will be the children of suit. You're pregnant? Of course. All three of us are. But your husband, you said he's your leader. And he let you go? If he hadn't, they'd have made all the villagers slaves. There are different ways to fight Lex. In his own way, he's trying to keep his people free. No, Layla, given you to them. To, to buy another week, another month? That is not freedom. I'd never have given you up. The thing is, Telly, I can sell these valuable items outside in the city, no problem. But in my position of trust with the Guardian, it makes it a little awkward to sell within the confines of the mall, which is where you come in. You want me to sell the stuff? Of course. We've got a real market here. And with your little angel looks, we've got it made. How much? What? How much do I get? Well, maybe we should see how you do first. Okay, we'll say all oh, five percent. Supposing I get caught, Casey, should I tell them that I get... No. Whatever you do, no names. I'll tell you what. Whatever you sell, you get to keep ten percent. Only, don't mention my name. Okay. This is the place, the place where we fell in love. Will I see you? This is the place. What's the game? What are you talking about? You don't understand what you're all doing. Tyson cannot be the supreme mother. Tyson, you're kidding. I'm not an idiot, Allie. I know you're working against me. Of course I'm working against you. You represent everything that I am against. We're enemies. Okay, I ask for that. But whatever advantages you think you can gain from this, it won't do either of us any good. You mean it won't do you and your little schemes for power any good? I'm not interested in power. I see a world lost and confused, and I just want to make it better. I didn't know, Luke. She hasn't spoken to any of us. All right. And I believe you. But if Tyson accepts this, it will bring disaster. He's already almost beyond reach. This will make him more and more... The Guardian? What do you mean, make him more and more what? Please, tell her to refuse. Oh, she still can. And so! The Guardian and the Supreme Mother prepare to put the Wonder Child to bed in the humble little home that they have found for her amongst the little gentle animals who wish her well. I have seen how the future will be. You, O oh Wonder Child, will grow up to lead us all in the new world. And I must protect you. Here I will sleep outside this door the whole night long. But little did the Guardian know that the Supreme Mother was really an imposter, a vile witch who planned to destroy the Chosen. Night is upon us. The Guardian sleeps. You can come out now, my rebel friends. The time has come. And so, on this moonlit night, three evil figures approach the home of the sleeping wonder child. First, the despicable Bray. <laughs> Good likeness, don't you think? And with him, his two henchmen, Lex, the unmerciful, and the evil-eyed Ebony. <laughs> Their purpose was to aid Trudy the imposter by doing away with the child of Zoot. But just as they raise their hand to strike at the child, the guardian awakes from his slumber, and summoning oh, the powers of Zoot, he destroys them with a single bolt! Fire! 
May, I need you to contact Bray again. Uh, no problem. When? Can you go tonight? I need you to get a message to him. Here they are again, swapping secrets. I wonder if uh, Lieutenant Luke has any idea of what you're whispering about. Maybe I should go ask him. What do you reckon, guys? I wouldn't do that if I were you, Ned. You see, that would make you a collaborator. And collaborators aren't very popular around here, if you get my drift. Now you got the water, thought there may be a few other things you could do for me. What? Oh, like, I left my comic in my room. I'd kind of like to read it now. Why don't you stand up to him? <laughs> I've always wanted my own personal butler. I mean it, Ned. You say a single word about those two, and I will not hesitate to render you down for cooking lard. So, they are up to something then. Alice, Alice, have you seen Ty San lately? We've got to find her. We need to talk to her urgently. It's the puppeteers. They're coming. Boy, I can't wait to get my hands on them. Mind you, I thought their characterization of you was rather good. But it would be nice to tell the right story, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Where do you think they're headed next? I don't know. Let's go ask them. It's such a good opportunity. Tysan becomes Supreme Mother. We've got power. You could really start to manipulate him. Yeah, and what if she can't? What if it's the other way around? He won't influence Tysan. How do you know? How do you know she'll not be taken over in the end? It has happened to others. People who are otherwise good and decent. Oh, come on, Ali. You mean Celine or May? You're so sure of yourself, Alice. We don't even know the game we'll be playing, let alone what it might bring down on us. Don't do it, Tysan. Just don't. I don't know what's got into her. I agree with her. It is dangerous. There's a lot of people out there. I'm not sure this is gonna work. Well, well, looks like Lex is getting stage fright. Well, come on, guys, aren't you nervous? I mean, I don't even know my lines. I haven't even got any lines. Come on, Max. I mean, this is our chance to tell the truth. The more people out there tonight, the better. Because I tell you, not one of them is gonna forget this show. So, uh, how'd it go, Tom? Oh, everything was confiscated. What? Everything? Yeah, before I even got started. But I never told them your name, Casey. Just like you said. Well, uh, that's something. At least we live to fight another day. See you later, then. Sure. So, do you reckon you can get more stuff out of him tomorrow? No problem. It's candy from a baby. Okay. Okay, so you got me. Some nice moves there, Tully. I admit, you had scammed me. This time. So, what are you gonna do? Well, it looks like you had a good day selling. What do you say if we work together? I supply the stuff and you keep doing them all, and I get a cut. What do you reckon? Should we cut him in? No more than 5%. Max. Once, there was a really horrible man who called himself the Guardian. <laughs> now, his heart was so ugly, the stink of it came through his armpits and twisted his limbs. <laughs> so he scrubbed, and he scrubbed, but no matter how much soap and deodorant he used, he still stunk of moldy cheese. <laughs> Phew, you are one stinky guy, man. 
I'll say you will never get a date with breath like that, babe. Tysa, you have been chosen. You are the true Supreme Mother. Look, a young girl working in the films carrying her child. The girl's name is Layla, and she is lovely beyond compare. But suddenly, two of the Guardian's evil servants creep up behind and capture her. Help! Help somebody rescue me and my child! Back in the dungeons, the Guardian mixes a magic potion. And as the captured girl is forced to drink, the potion makes her mind go to sleep. Now we will hide our lies behind this girl's beauty. And we will call her child the Wonder Child. And she shall be called the Supreme Mother. <laughs> Using the Supreme Mother and the Child, the Guardian lies his way to power over the people. And soon, darkness closes on the world. But among the people is a small band of freedom fighters who are unafraid to stand up against the tyranny of the Guardian. Bray the Braveheart, Ebony the Fearless, and bravest and most fearless of them all, Lex the Invincible. <laughs> Together, they set out to destroy the Chosen and return Layla and her child to their rightful home. battle is long, and at last, the Guardian is defeated. And so ends his evil reign of tyranny. And as Lex the Invincible plants a kiss on her lips, what? so Layla is freed from the evil spell of the Guardian. Now I can return to my normal life. There will be no more Supreme Mother or Divine Child. All they ever symbolized were lies. lies. I've made up my mind. If you still believe it's right, then I will accept. I will become the Supreme Mother of the Chosen.